constellation of info we've got with this uh, Alexis guy. Well, you know, knowing that the government wants uh, gun control uh, and then seeing some of the other things that have come out recently, um, like you said, you know, you can't discount mental illness, you know, especially being a physician, you've got to recognize that schizophrenics exist. For one, he's a little old to just all of a sudden go schizophrenic. Typically. Bingo. Yeah, typically. That's 34? Typically, it's like in your teens. 18 to 28. Yeah, 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 typically. So acute schizophrenia on somebody at his age now, uh, he worked in a field where he worked with these types of exotic weapons. Um, like on NBC, they, they mentioned the etching on his shotgun. They mentioned it as cryptic etching that said, my ELF weapon. Well, it wasn't cryptic to him. He's worked in this field. So he knew exactly what he was being targeted with. The voices he was hearing didn't tell him to go run amok at the Navy Yard. He went to where he perceived the, the weapons coming from. Ooh, that's a good point as a theory. They were programming him for a mass shooting, so he went to them. Exactly. You know, having worked with a lot of these victims that are hearing voices that are being put into their head, not from schizophrenia, most of them kind of have an idea of where it's coming from. Some of them are wrong. Because the technology is meant to foster a wrong belief, make you think it's you know your relatives or your parents or you know your work. When in in reality, at least from what we found with counter surveillance in San Antonio, it's usually a private investigative group made up of former federal employees. Yeah, that's why you've been on the news. You guys have actually caught people before in the act. Exactly. Wow. Oh man, I tell you. And, and and so you've got over a million private contractors operating domestically just in just in psyops. They admit there's too many clearances out there. Too many clearances. Uh, and, you know, looking at mind control technology, they've always contracted it out. It's never done directly by the CIA, not since the 60s. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, we'll be right back with the doctor. This is powerful info. He'll have the floor. My friends, 15 years ago in Los Angeles and Tokyo, I know because we got the director of the company on, it was in the news, Wash Tech, they had Coke machines, soft drink machines that would beam audio to your middle ear that nobody else could hear. Now they have it, like out of Minority Report, where you walk by and because of Facebook, the billboard in Times Square, this has been out for four years, knows who you are, three years, face scans and then makes announcements to your name what you're doing. Here's Wired Magazine today. Transfer a secret audio message by poking someone with your finger. Wired Magazine. And these are these systems that have been patented since the 50s. It's way more, way more advanced. And they have digital data transfer over power lines now where they admit all the new appliances are designed to spy on you, the CIA director said. So, so this is going on. The question is, how many people are schizophrenic that come to you? Well, well get into what you discovered, the private investigators they're using, uh, how it's subcontracted, and who they're targeting. Well, you know, the... Uh girl came to me uh, complaining that she was hearing voices, that she was being followed, uh, being targeted, uh, knew her well, knew the family, knew there was no history of mental illness, uh, knew there wasn't a drug problem or alcohol problem, uh, had heard a little bit about this technology before, so gave her the benefit of the doubt and actually spent some money. Uh, we um, audio bugged her condominium, uh, had people you know following her to see if she was being followed, and indeed the people following her, including myself, were followed. Uh, to and from her, her condo and to my home. Uh, it, we got the plate numbers of the people doing the stalking. It all came back to a former FBI guy running a private investigative group. Uh, it, so seeing that we couldn't get anything done. By the way, you're not just saying this. This is on the San Antonio TV. This is this has been national yeah, news. Yeah, and the book's been out since 06. Most of this happened prior to 06. That's right. I mean, and, and now you found the network nationwide, but go ahead. But... Uh, so we go to the police, and the police, at the time, Texas had different stalking laws. As you know, our stalking laws have changed. If you notice the same person following you now, you can actually get a restraining order against them. At that time, you had to show injury. Uh, no, I know, because I went to court over it. The guy was threatening to even kill my sister, and they wouldn't do anything. No, it, I finally got him, though. You've got, yeah, you've got, you, at that time, you had to show injury. And she had been injured because she had been actually been drugged and sexually assaulted. But with Rohypnol, she didn't have any memory of the culprits. So we uh, audio bugged her place, caught them breaking into her place, caught them putting Rohypnol in the water. Um, basically, the police said, this guy's former FBI. He stalks people for a living. She doesn't have any recall of the rape, and there's no way we're going to get a stalking charge. That was why I decided to write the book to basically put it out there that this technology does exist. But, but I mean, uh, obviously, if they've got access to high-level government stuff. The question is, why are they doing it? Or is it, what's the point? Uh, you know, from after the book came out, and then now after talking to about five or 6,000 other victims and 
globally and here, uh, it appears to be experimental. You know, we both live in Texas. As you know, guns and taxes won't control everybody, especially in Texas. You know, you and I can, you know, we can, you know, skin a deer, we can run a trout line, we can get water out of a well. You know, you can live off the land and, and not be controlled with taxes. Electromagnetic weaponry, just as Persinger said 15 years ago, he could control every brain on the planet with microwaves. That's right. For those that don't know, tell people about the Pentagon. They're, they're, they're public about this. Yeah, they're very public about it. That uh, the, It's found, been found out that the brain is very susceptible to elf waves, to microwave energy. In fact, that's the Pentagon paper. The uh, brain has no firewall. The brain has no firewall. Uh, you can put voices in the head. For those of you listening that think that's an impossibility, go to audiospotlight.com. You can purchase a unit yourself to put voices in somebody's head. Uh, that, oh, no, Ventura didn't believe it till they got one and did it. He's like, what the? I mean, <laughs> it, you know, there are several ways to do that. Um, this guy, this new shooter, he, um, you know, he worked in that field. Uh, the fact that he put that, that as, in, as NBC said, that cryptic message that they couldn't understand what he meant by my elf weapon. Well, he understood it. That's why he, you know, he went to where he perceived the voices as coming from is why he went there. This wasn't voices telling him or subliminally controlling him to go amok, I don't believe, at least based on my... Oh, experience. listen, he could have been a schizophrenic, except they opened all the doors for him. I mean, you got a high security clearance and you're calling the cops four times and showing up saying the government's after me? You're going to the funny farm, your clearance is yanked. Well, and if I you, mean, they definitely... And if you remember from the early MK Ultra studies, you know, the known mentally ill were experimented on more than the, the sane. Well, and then, and then they threw army officers out of windows, Olson and others, I mean, yeah. And uh, I think this is basically a, a, a continuation of MK Ultra because, you know, MK Ultra ended with the Rockefeller Commission, um, Supposedly, but all that ended was the freedom of information. You know, all they did is is make it all more black. And then as uh, technology advanced, you know, and they found out that oh my gosh, the brain is very susceptible to, especially the temporal lobes, to microwave energy and various radio frequencies. All it did is take the lab out of the lab and into society. You know, it can all be done remotely now, where we're all in the lab. That's right. We're all in a giant electromagnetic prison. And they admit they're putting carrier waves over the cell phone, all of it. So so there's one way for your phone to work, but they're putting other information over that wave. It's incredible.